Hello, Alexander Green here, Chief Investment Strategist with the Oxford Club. You know, gold has been one of the best performing assets this year. It crossed the $2,000 an ounce mark just recently, and many hedge fund managers and other analysts think that gold has considerably further to run. But the first question is, why is gold making such a big move all of a sudden? In fact, here's a question that I bet you don't know the answer to. What has given the best return over the last 20 years? Gold or the S&P 500 with dividends reinvested? Now, most people would say the S&P because they know that stocks are the best performing long-term asset of all time. However, over the last 20 years, the S&P 500 with dividends reinvested is up approximately half as much as gold. So why is gold made such a big move this year? Well, there's a number of reasons. The first is that gold is viewed as a traditional safe haven during times of social and economic unrest. Secondly, it's an inflation hedge, and there are a number of reasons to think that inflation could be higher down the road. The first is we have significant, not just significant, but massive fiscal stimulus coming from the federal government. Uh, this year's deficit is going to top $5 trillion. That's going to go on top of the $22 trillion we had coming into this year. Uh, and there's a feeling that all that deficit spending could be inflationary down the road. Another reason is the central bank. The central bank has offered unlimited liquidity to the financial markets. And when they, when they double the money supplies they have over the last few months, again, as Milton Friedman says, inflation everywhere and at all times is a monetary ph phenomenon. It's very likely that that increase in the money supply is gonna lead to higher prices down the road. A, a third reason for inflation potentially, is the dollar has taken a nosedive. Since mid-May, the dollar has taken one of the sharpest drops uh, in history in such a short period of time. And why is that inflationary? Because when the dollar drops, that makes foreign goods, imports, more expensive in dollar terms and allows American producers to raise their prices with impunity. So that too is inflationary. So there are lots of reasons to think that gold could go higher. Uh, and there are different ways to play it. You can own the metal, um, gold itself, you can own GLD, which is an ETF, that, uh, or you can own news, numismatic or bullion coins, um, or you can own a portfolio of gold mining stocks like GDX, the Van X Gold Miners Index. Uh, these are all different ways to play gold. But I should warn you that while gold has given significant returns in the short term, and even over this 20-year period, it all depends on when you pick your spot. Because while gold has beaten the S&P 500 over the last 20 years, over the last 40 years, it hasn't even been close. From January of 1980 until now, gold is only up about 260%, whereas the S&P 500 with dividends reinvested is up over 8,000%. And that's why I say that equities are the better long-term investment than gold, but it can put on a furious rally in the short term, and it certainly has been this year. So if you wanna play it, you can own the bullion, you can own the coins, or you can own the gold mining stocks, all are ways to take advantage of a move in gold and potentially hedge against higher inflation down the road. Uh, so that's it for today. Alexander Green, Chief Investment Strategist with the Oxford Club and also the editor of Liberty Through Wealth. I encourage you to sign up for my free e-letter. Just click on the link below and we'd love to have you as a subscriber. So thank you so much.